Okay, this will be part two of my uh, stereo amplifier install. Uh, I made a video before about my plan. If you want to check it out, it's right up here. Uh, so as you can see, I got the radio out. Uh, my adapter kit came finally. My amp wiring kit came. I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, but as you can see, I got the radio out. I got the panel that goes around the radio out and I got my HVAC out because you got to get to these bolts right there. Okay, so here's the wiring kit that I bought. <clears throat> uh, just a nice little kit from Amazon. Uh, it says 900 watts. I'm not going to be using that much. Here's the wires. There's the fuse holder. And then here's the bag. So it's pretty neat what all it comes with. So, and then here is the radio kit. I'm sorry for the lighting in here. I got my garage door shut. It's very windy today. Um, nice little kit that uh, looks really good, actually. Okay, I got my, my power route wire ran through a groundlet over there. Got it wrecked over here. Here's the uh, fuse holder. I'm going to go ahead and hook that to that, and then this part's going to go out to the battery. I uh, have it in there. Uh, inside, I've made quite a mess. Um, as you could tell, I got the radio out and the HVAC out. Uh, I got my most of my center console out. Uh, the reason being is because the wire is just a little bit too short. So what I'm doing is... I'm running my power wire. As you can see it, it's right there, the little blue wire. I'm running that underneath. I got wire tied down. Got it underneath and I'm gonna go under my, I'm going under my back carpet right here. I have these wires down in here. Uh, I have it run through this thing. I'm gonna put some uh, liquid uh, electrical tape down on this so it doesn't chafe. Got it, go, got it going on that side too. So here is my sub. I know it's nothing too exciting. And then I just have a nice little uh, 600 watt Kenwood amp that I'm gonna hook to it. So power wire, here's my RCAs, and then here's my uh, 12 volt turn on wire for the amp. Uh, my plan is just to kind of leave the sub where it's at kind of in the middle of the trunk towards the backs of the seats. I'm going to have the sub facing out towards the trunk or the back of the car. And my only other issue is I got to figure out how I'm going to mount this. I don't want it rolling around. I may have to come up with some sort of bracket system or something. I'm a little less than halfway done with this. Uh, I still got to make the final connections there and then the final connections in the trunk on the amp and the sub and I need to connect my battery. So here's what I did from the battery. Uh, I know there's a bunch of corrosion right there. I'm gonna clean all that off here shortly but I just wanted to get this attached and get it working just to see what it was gonna do. So I just have it attached right there. Got the wire run. Here's my there's my fuse and I got it running back. I got it wire tied to this wire tied to that and then it it runs through runs through the uh, engine harness grommet right there so I'm finally done installing my stereo system uh, finally got the car put back together my center center consoles put back together I uh, actually there's the new new old radio here's a better shot of the stereo uh, I kind of want to get a little close up on how good this install kit looks. Uh, looks really good. Kind of looks like it's kind of looks like it's designed to go with the car because it kind of matches everything, matches all this stuff down here. But yeah, I got the uh, I got my in interior put back together. Uh, the only thing I still have to do is secure my back seat. I just got it sitting back there for right now. Uh, 
it does sound pretty good, but I'm not going to play anything because of uh, copyright issues. So uh, let me go ahead and show you what I did with the sub. Okay, so there's the, the uh, sub in the box. And again, I know probably Alpha Sonic isn't the best brand in the world, but it, it works pretty well for me. And of course, there's the amp. And then my uh, my wires. I'm going to uh, put this RCA. I'm going to hook it to the box, run it under a little bit. This is just kind of a temporary thing. Uh, this is a temporary solution I have just to mount the box for right now. So all in all, I probably have close to about six, maybe six and a half hours invested in this little project. Didn't take too long, and although it did take a little, little longer than I thought, I used to do this all the time when I was younger. Uh, but it, this one took a little bit of time because it's been so long. Uh, everything from running the wire from the battery through the firewall to the back of the car, uh, taking apart the inside of my car. Uh, but all in all, it wasn't a bad project. Will I do it again? Probably not. This was just something different, something that I decided to do. I wanted a little more... Little one, a little more sound in my car, nothing too elaborate. So anyway, that is it for this video. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and click subscribe. I got more stuff on the way. And as always, thank you for watching.